Namaste friends. Welcome back to another video where we discuss about the preparation required for your study abroad. So in this vlog too, we are going to be discussing about all the kitchen essentials that you should be carrying with you to your abroad country for your studies. So grab that chai, sit back and let's get cooking. First of all, let's get started with those things which make your kitchen feel like home. Trust me, these are the real soul of your kitchen. And what are they? The portable cookwares. First one is the pressure cooker. Uh, so with me, I have about 3 liter pressure cooker which is from Hawkins. So the, this is made out of steel and in Contura style, which is something like this i bought this from amazon you can also get it on dmart with for like 100 or 200 bucks lesser so coming to cooker you can also buy a little bigger maybe if you're expecting some friends to call over very often then four to five liters should be good or if you don't prefer two lit uh, three liters should be more than enough now it's time to talk about the jugard so you never know when your cooker might, your pressure cooker might give that dhoka on you. So always carry these extra pack of gaskets. I've carried three with me and then this uh, washers or washer, I don't know what, what exactly they are called. Why? Because these kind of cookers are not really available over here. Uh, maybe in Paris or maybe in very big supermarkets but then spare parts are very rare to find in any of the market or any big market so it's always handy if you carry uh, these with you and do not lose them after coming over here not just carry but keep them safe with you and along with this what I have is a heavy cast iron frying pan I have bought this um, with the intention of using it for both masala dosa, uh, I mean dosa and chapati. So yeah, this is quite heavy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of um, getting uh, cast iron and steel and uh, earthen cookware. So that's why I have bought this. But otherwise, you can definitely go for the... Um, pressure cooker which is made of aluminium and a non-stick pan which is lighter on your trolley totally up to you whatever you prefer however in all these airbnb houses and the uh, apartments that you're gonna rent out you will definitely get a frying pan which might not look like these but then manageable they look something like your omelette pan so um, the the size might be a little bigger which where you can use or use it also like your dosa pan or your chapati frying pan but however for a longer run it's not preferred it's not really convenient so that's why i have bought these with me and also when it comes to tawa the one that i showed is little bigger i agree to that so you can go for something smaller now let's talk about some tools. So what I have bought with me are the potato peeler, the carrot grater and tea strainer. This is extremely important guys. Although the rest too will be available in some of the supermarkets, but tea strainer is something which is not available. I scoured through many of the intermarshes and it was not available. So it's okay if you, if you want to carry two, but carry at least one with you. Motor and pestle, which you can use to um, uh, mix up your uh, adrak and uh, ginger. Although you get the paste, but that is something which I don't prefer because it has a lot of preservatives. So if you're comfortable, you can go ahead with that. Otherwise, this comes really handy. So along with that, try to get knives as well, which I did not get apparently because here, what you usually get in every other uh, house or the airbnb is this sort of knife and you you may think it is sharp but it is not because usually here the kind of food that are made are of bread so these are majorly used for cutting breads and not the vegetables so um, these are like calm chalao but then again for a longer duration i don't think it is helpful 
so try to get your kind of your the knives that you like to use here my personal preference the set i had back at my home was from ikea so it was a set of three and um, yes they were extremely sharp and they would slice up the vegetables in no time so now let's talk about the cutleries so with me i have bought two of these pieces and coverings small plates for these and along with that very desi teacup and then very tiny petite bowls so you also get it in any of the houses that you rent out from airbnb or uh, studio apart or any other portal that you prefer however if you're close if you have some personal items that you want to bring with you which is from the kitchen items you can definitely choose that so these are something which i really wanted to bring with me so i have bought them now let's talk about the cleaning stuff although you get all the materials uh, such as hand wash soaps and uh, dish wash soaps detergent in your airbnb or your studio uh, studio apartment it's always handy if you can get two of these packets these are more than enough suppose if you move in today and then you couldn't find a soap or maybe in a week or so you did not have time uh, in, in during your college class hour so all you can do is just use these so carry just at least one each one for the dish and the other one for your clothes and along with that do get this um scrub pads and there are other kind of sub scrub pads as well the scratch bright wala which you can carry with you although they provide you over here but sometimes i don't prefer using used ones which have been used by someone else so i prefer new ones so that's why i have bought and i have used already couple of them so it's up to you ever heard of foot zipping uh, clips you might because you might have seen these in dmarts so these are really really important guys so these actually keep your food uh, very fresh fresher than bollywood romance i would say so yeah trust me your veggies will thank you later not just your veggies but your pack of lays or pack of some chakna that you going to need every now and then and a uh, lot of other fried items or the uh, packed items that you you're going to buy from here so you might not be given with some containers to store all these stuffs in but these clips come very handy i have bought two dozens of them and i still think they they are not enough so i i wish i had bought at least three dozens but um yes you should carry this with you next is very important for all the people from north of india to south of india is the chapati platform and the belan so every house makes chapati right so chapati platforms and belan are available over here but all the utensils which i just showed you uh, you might find it here or oh, uh, maybe four times of uh, the cost of what you can find back in your hometown so what you can do is carry a very light weighted uh, chapati platform and the belan or if you already have one just take that one instead of buying a new one remember these essentials not only make the cooking fun but also bring a touch of home to your new home abroad so i'll be making more videos on these so these were about the kitchen kitchen essentials that you should be carrying my next video is going to be about the actual food items that you should carry and along with that the spices so stay tuned so make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me throughout the series so that you do not miss out on any of the materials that i have listed here which are very useful for you until then Happy cooking and happy packing. To ease your transition from India to abroad country, I have created this comprehensive list which is going to help you in your shopping, in your itinerary which you which you require for your abroad travel. So how to fetch this document? Well, the link of this document will be provided in the description of my every video. So once you click it, you'll be redirected to a Google form where you'll be prompted with couple of questions regarding your name, when you're planning for the abroad studies and a little more. So once you fill out the form, you'll be uh, prompted with a thank you page containing a link to download this document.
what does the document contain and how is it going to help you so this is all about me and um, uh, this is about my youtube channel where you can click it and then directly land on to my youtube channel and my instagram and a little bit about me which might help you in the future and all the list which you really need to look into uh, and the categories are tra travel documents kitchen food clothing electronics health and accessories and many more so in this particular page i'll be updating or embedding the every new video which are regarding about this packaging uh, itinerary so make sure you keep checking that so the final one the very important page is this one which contains amazon links to all the products which i have recommended so all that you should do is click on this link and you'll be redirected to the amazon page and that's where you can buy so Happy shopping and all the very best. Bye.